Hello, amazing humans. In this video, we're going to explore the connection between your entire spine and your shoulders. It's a wonderful one to increase shoulder mobility as well as spine flexibility. All you need is a firm chair to sit on, feet flat on the floor. And start with a gentle reference movement of slowly turning to look behind you to the left and then turning to look behind you to your right. Do this movement a few times, nice and slow. And as you're doing this movement, keep it comfortable. Just notice how far can you turn one direction and how far comfortably can you turn in the other direction. Is one way a little bit easier than the other? Maybe one way smoother, you can go further. Gently bring your brain's awareness to what parts of your spine are moving to do this movement, to look to the left and to the right. How much of your spine is participating? How much of your whole body is participating? How much of your spine is not participating? And then go back to your neutral position. And now for the fun stuff, bring your hands to shoulder height in front of you and then glue your palms together. Now, if shoulder height isn't comfortable for you, you can modify this so that your hands are a little bit lower than your shoulders. Just make sure that your hands are not above your shoulders. And remember, when you're comfortable, your brain is going to be more aware of what's going on and it's going to be able to change so much faster. So keep yourself comfortable. So hands out in front, palms glued together in a comfortable spot for you. Keep your eyes and nose pointed forward. So pick a spot on the wall in front of you to look at and then separate your right hand, keeping your left hand where it is. Don't move your left hand and your right hand. Swing your right hand out to the side to the right as far as is comfortable and then slowly bring it back to connect the palms together in front of you. So you're looking straight ahead and then do the same thing with the left hand. So the left hand swings out to the side as far as is comfortable and then bring it back to connect to the right palm. But your head doesn't turn with the movement. So you're staring straight ahead and then you alternate your right hand swinging out to the side, keeping that palm at shoulder height or below. So don't go above your shoulder with your hands and then bringing your right hand, connecting it back to the left and then swinging the left arm out, paying attention to what is the difference between your right hand swinging out and your left hand. Where do you feel the movement in your shoulder blade? Do you feel your shoulder blade sliding? Does one arm move further or more comfortably than the other arm? Notice and tune into what your body is doing. How is your body making this movement happen? What parts of you are moving? I'm noticing a dramatic difference from one side to the other. How about you? If you've had any sort of shoulder injury, you might really notice a difference. Or even if you have scoliosis too, there might be a dramatic difference from one side to the other. And that's great. You can just let it all go and rest. And while you're resting in your chair, bring your brain's awareness into your body. Feel your connection with the chair. Feel your feet connection with the floor. Feel the length of your spine. When you're ready, once again, bring your hands to shoulder height or below, palms glued together, and do the same movement again of alternating the right hand swinging out. But this time, as your right hand swings out, bring your gaze and your nose to follow your right hand. So your right hand is swinging out to the side. Your left hand is staying where it is, but your eyes and your nose are following your right hand Go as far as is comfortable and then come back. And if you get confused, slow this movement down. This movement is designed for your brain to get curious. So when you're swinging your left hand out to the side, your eyes and your nose are following the movement. Your right hand is staying still, your left hand moving back to the side, following your, your eyes and nose, and then coming back, keeping it comfortable and smooth, and continue to alternate the right hand swinging out with your eyes and your nose following your right hand outwards as far as is comfortable, and coming back, and then swinging your left hand out. And as you're doing this movement nice and slow, feel what parts of your body are moving now to make this happen. Notice if this movement is easier for you or harder than keeping your eyes and nose pointed forward. Does moving your eyes and your nose, turning your head, help the movement of swinging your arm open? 
Can you feel more of your spine moving? Do you feel your shoulder blades gliding over your ribs? Do you feel your spine twisting? And at any point, you can just let it all go and rest if you need to. You don't need to force your way through this. These movements are for you to get curious about how you move. And when your brain gets curious about how you move, that's when your brain can upgrade itself to be able to coordinate more of your body parts to move with less pain and more flexibility and mobility. So remember to take care of yourself so your brain can be in a learning state and not distracted by pain or being uncomfortable. And then whenever you're ready, you can go back to that movement of palms glued together and then separating the right hand following with your eyes, swinging it out and then coming back. And then the left hand swinging out and then coming back and getting really curious about how are you doing it. And even just with that small little break of making sure I was comfortable and my brain had a little bit of time to rest and recalibrate, I'm noticing I am looking way further now than when I did before. It's just so interesting that pushing harder and further often doesn't work. But doing these slow, gentle movements, giving yourself lots of time and space to get curious and connect with how your unique body is moving can accelerate this learning process of how to reorganize your body to make movement so much more comfortable for yourself. So that's great. If you haven't already, you can just let that all go and rest. Feel your feet connected to the floor. Feel how you're connected to the chair. Notice if there's anything different about your spine, about how tall you're sitting, how comfortable you are in a sitting position now, where your shoulders are hanging in space. And now one more time, bring your hands up to shoulder height or a comfortable height for you. Glue your palms together and keep your eyes and nose pointed forward again. And once again, only move your right hand to the side, keeping your gaze forward sliding that right hand back and then bringing the right hand forward again to connect with the left and then detaching the left and swinging the left arm backwards and noticing, are you going a little bit further than you were before? Does this movement make more sense to your brain? Does your brain know how to move all of your body parts to make this movement a little bit more comfortable with more range of motion without stretching or strength training. Your brain took in quality information and was able to reorganize into a more comfortable and more enjoyable movement. And you did it by keeping yourself comfortable and safe and just getting curious. And let's do the very first reference movement that we did of simply turning to look to the left and turning to look to the right and noticing are you looking way further than you were before with less effort? Does your brain just automatically know how to move more of your spine? Do you feel your lower spine moving, your middle spine moving, your upper spine moving, your shoulder blades sliding, an overall more comfortable feeling as you're looking to one direction and the other? So if you did notice a difference, congratulations, you just experienced brain plasticity. Your brain was able to take in that unique, safe, comfortable information and rearrange it to your advantage for more mobility and less pain. So go out and have fun with this one and we will see you in the next Chair Moves, okay? Bye.